almost there the Villa Zouba. Yeah. This side we need the Corbusier. So I send you an friends. Thank you. The architect of the Villa Savoie. Luc Bozier was an architect, urban planner, painter, writer, humorist, and leading figure in the modern movement. He is considered one of the most groundbreaking architects of the 20th century. His varied work attests to fruitful creativity, whether for freestanding houses, standardized multi-unit housing, urban planning or institutional, sporting or cultural sites. In 1887, he was born in La Chaux de Fonds, Switzerland, and he settled in Paris in 1917. He confounded the periodical Les Purines Nouveaux and wrote seminal works like Vers une architecture ou the towards a new architecture. In 1920 to 1925, he adopted the pseudonym Louis Corbusier that year. He built curious villas, including Villa La Roche in 1925, today's hot office of a Fondation Le Corbusier in Paris, and Villa Savoie in 1931. He helped create the International Congress of Modern Architecture, or the CIAM, in 1928. He traveled to Latin America, the Soviet Union, the United States, and North Africa, and designed several projects there in 1930 to 1939. He built five housing blocks, including the Cité Radius in Marseille, the Notre Dame de Haut Chapel in Ronchamp in 1955, and the Sainte Marie de la Tourette Priory between 1952 to 1960. The facades, the north west facade, is the main entrance to the opposite side of the road. A glazed partition brings light into the ground floor hall. It still holds up the first floor, which is virtually floating. It's horizontally emphasized by the street windows. The walls of the top floor are hemispherical, the alternating shapes. Le Corbusier breathed life into his facade, giving it unique character. The south Facade facing the entrance to the grounds fits into a garden plot designed by Le Corbusier. The two gravel paths lined with rose bushes were used as driveways for the sub family's cars to go along. The Villa Savoie is composed of three floors the ground floor, which is the service area, the first floor, which is the living areas, and the top floor, which are the patios. The ground floor consists of the entrance hall the ramp, the spiral staircase, the two servant bedrooms, the laundry and living room, the chauffeur's to the apartment and the garage. The entrance hall is very bright and respects the codes of a middle-class home, with a double door reserved for masters of the house and a service entrance near the staircase. It is equipped with two tables, each inserted in a post, and is fitted with a wash basin, therefore allowing the principles of hygiene that go hand-in-hand -hand with modern architecture for local Corbusier. The laundry and linen room is made with two rough concrete receptacles. Its positioning and brightness also make it a winter garden. The ramp. The ramp reserved for masters of the house and their guests is an essential part of Le Corbusier's architecture, provides good views of the house shapes and play of light, as well as the natural setting. The first floor, or the living areas, is composed of the lounge, the kitchen, the guest room, the son's bedroom, the bathroom, the master bedroom, and the boudoir. 
The lounge, covering 86 square meters, features a sliding patio door. The kitchen would be rich by the pantry, the storage areas, and tile surfaces made it a functional hygienic laboratory with spaces specially made for household appliances. The guest room features an integrated wardrobe that separates the parquet floor bedroom from the tiled toilet brightened up by a zenithal window. The son's bedroom includes a night space and a desk corner made up of a covered shelf. The spiral staircase is a top to bottom structure intended for servants. This is usually hidden, but Luca Bazier here highlights it. He called it a sculpture in their coarse concrete. The boudoir, a small lounge or office, features a shelf incorporated beneath the window. The master bedroom, covering 60 square meters, includes a hallway, an eastern influence bathroom, and a bedroom. The bed position is suggested through the outlook formed by two posts. The tiled meridian recalls the Chase Lounge LC designed by Louis Corbusier, Charlotte Berlion, and Pierre Jeuneret. The roof garden, or honey garden, includes a cover garden known as the kiosk, or pavilion, with windows that protect against wind and rain. And an open air garden featuring an integrated table. The shapes of openings frame the window of the countryside sending the picture windows that run all the way around the edge. Two concrete panthers conceal the garage skylights and the turf joins between the slabs would bring a touch of greenery. The roof garden stands at the heart of the villa, forming a huge natural skylight for almost all the rooms. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed and see you again on my next video. Au revoir!